ICA 2023 will be a unique event in the actuarial history, really. It's the first time ICA will be both physical in Sydney and virtual around the world. So we will have speakers in Sydney, but we will also have speakers coming in from Asia, from Europe, from the Americas, which really give us the opportunity to get a huge breadth of input and speakers. I think some of the takeaways from ICA 2023 will be about the breadth of the actual profession. What's the impact of climate risk on actual work, on society, on our communities? What will the customers in financial services in 2030, 2040 be like? What will they be looking for? We'll have a focus on Asia. Naturally, data, analytics, artificial intelligence is important. Where's that going to lead? What's the role of actuaries in that space? And so I could go on, but one of my personal interests is the whole consequences of aging populations, not just pensions, but more broadly about that. What does that mean for society? Beyond the plenaries, one of the things that I'm looking forward to is the concurrent sessions. We're expecting about 150 sessions of papers. Global speakers will be speaking to us, whether you're in Germany, whether you're in Africa, Asia, North America. We will be hearing what's happening in those countries, what we can learn from, and how they're responding to similar challenges we have in Australia. The last time we had the Congress was in Sydney in 1984. So that's a long time between drinks. We're expecting a lot of actuaries will want to travel and will indeed come to Sydney. I think it's going to be a great learning opportunity. And more than that, a great opportunity of showing the world, the actual world, what in fact we, have, we are doing in Australia. Because in some areas, I suggest we are up there with the best of them, if not ahead of them. Absolutely. There are actuaries in many parts of the world who have never been to a Congress, but here's an opportunity for them to visit, to be part of that. Obviously, when you're there physically, you get more opportunities, you'll be able to uh, see them. But if they're online, you're online, we'll certainly have open lines of communication, and that will be to the advantage of everybody. So I think it's a real opportunity for the actual profession globally to really show off, to expand, and to, uh, if you like, flap its wings, not only in Australia, but around the world. I would encourage everybody to think about submitting an abstract. You only have to put it in 350 words. That's less than a page. So your full paper doesn't have to be developed. What we want is what's the topic? What's the broad area that you're thinking about? What are the questions? And what we're really interested, interested in is how is it relevant today? Now, we recognise that there are areas, whether it's in climate change or um, data analytics, that's constantly changing. You will have the opportunity to vary your abstract, subtly adding a nuance to it as time goes on. So your paper won't be due until uh, you know, later in 2023. So you can build on it, but we need to know by March whether you're submitting, those papers are going to be reviewed by both international and Australian actuaries is the topic of interest. I would really encourage Australian actuaries to get in there, make a submission. Uh, it's not locked down in concrete, as I've said, you can tweak it a little bit. Firstly, I think as a professional, we have responsibility to make society, to make our community a better place. So if you've got a good idea, uh, it, it may be application, it might be how to develop a new product, put it out there. It's a responsibility for us to share our good ideas. Secondly, from your own personal professional development, there's nothing like putting yourself out there and getting questions back because it forces you to think and develop your ideas even further. And of course, uh, thirdly, and perhaps somewhat selfishly, if you're out there, then you're raising your own profile and that's a good thing to do as well.
Well, you've only got 350 words, <laughs> so there's a limit, but uh, um, don't get too complicated. Um, we want ideas, we want relevance, uh, we want topics that are practical to the actual profession, and don't feel that you have to answer all the questions. Uh, one of the criteria we're going to be looking for is what further research is needed in this area. So put something out there, you might be 80% of the way there, but there's 20% you're saying, mm, not sure about this, um, I want more ideas. Well, exactly, put it out there and we want those ideas because we all develop and grow and the profession grows in that space. It's natural to be nervous. Uh, don't be afraid of being nervous. I've presented many times to small and large audiences and I still get nervous. Um, but you learn from it, you develop it. The best way things come across is your own personality. Uh, some people have a good sense of humor, others don't. Don't try and impersonate somebody else. Be yourself, be passionate about the paper and you'll engage people by doing that. I think we want to recognise that the Congress is a professional activity, lots of learning, but there'll be great social events as well. Um, so it's going to be fun, it's going to be enjoyable, um, and come and learn a lot. Um, obviously, some people come virtually, we know that, but if you can come physically, you'll get even more out of it, I would suggest. Yeah.